Hey guys, this is Alan with Orally.com and today we're gonna to go over the eight steps to build your own digital marketing agency. So traditional marketing is changing. Everything is shifting. It's losing its reach in multiple platforms and so people are saying TV has shifted to online streaming video platforms like YouTube. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu. Newspapers have shifted towards blogs. Radio is shifting towards podcasting. So everything is changing. And digital marketing is the emerging market from that shift. The thing about digital marketing is that there is no real formal education, at least something that's not for corporations at least. So most training done at universities seems to be more geared towards working for corporations or doing corporate marketing rather than the most cutting edge internet marketing tactics for startups or small businesses and things of that sort. Part of the reason is that that technique is constantly changing. Every couple of months there is a new social media platform, a new way to do things, and the things that used to work just like six months ago are no longer effective, either because the platform changed, demographics have shifted, people have become numb to that type of marketing, or it's just, it's just saturated where everyone starts to do it and then it starts to lose its effectiveness. So the internet marketing game is constantly changing and it's difficult for textbooks or something in print to be able to keep up with it beyond things that are evergreen. So despite there being a lot of internet marketers out there, most of those marketers don't know what they're doing because there's no certification there's no quality control. Anyone can say that they're an internet marketer without any training. And so you'll get people with just like a little bit of experience or advice or just know how to sell themselves really well who get clients and pretty much do nothing because their clients don't know what they're doing and there's no way for the clients to be able to check. So if you are a well-rounded marketer that understands SEO, social media, pay-per-click advertising, and you have a well-rounded education strategy when it comes to internet marketing that's up-to-date and effective, then there's still a huge demand for you because there's not enough quality marketers out there. There's plenty of marketers, plenty. Another thing about these marketers is that they tend to only do one or two things. Like rarely do you see web designers that are also the top of their game in SEO and social media. Or you'll see like a social media expert that knows nothing about SEO. Or you, you find someone that does like paid advertising on Facebook or Google or Bing, but they can't do social media. And they can't do SEO right. They might know the basics, like they read an article here or there and tried something, but it's not the top of their game. And so, what happens is when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Meaning if their only skill set is being pay-per-click ads, then guess what they're going to recommend every single client. It's just miraculously every business that they meet seems to need being pay-per-click ads because that's what they do and they knew it worked for them before once and so they think every business needs being pay-per-click ads. So you can see how this sort of like one trick pony marketer has limited use for a lot of different kinds of businesses because maybe they're a cafe that sells coffee and cake in downtown Los Angeles. Do they really need Bing ads or is it more like they need a social media strategy, Yelp, Yelp ads, uh, learning customer acquisition through digital marketing. So you can see like, having a strong social media presence. So you can see how getting influencers to advertise that restaurant. So they need a broad strategy on things that actually work instead of wasting their marketing dollars on 
things that are probably should be around maybe one to 10% of their marketing strategy. And because things are constantly changing in the industry, where like before people would do a lot of blog articles and now things are starting to shift towards live video, influencer marketing, growth hacking, that these marketers are not up to date. So if you become a well-rounded marketer and you are up to date, there is a huge demand and a huge future, future for you in this market. So how do you get started? What are the eight steps to creating your own digital marketing agency? So step one. Step one is you gotta get your brand. You gotta get your .com. So if your name is taken for the company that you want, for the .com, don't settle for the .net or .org or .co or .tv or .info or whatever. You have to get the .com because if you don't get the .com, a certain percentage of your traffic will go to the .com anyways. So if you're like digital marketing company number one .net, then maybe 30% of people that are trying to get to your website end up on the .com version of that instead. Plus, it's about reputation. What client can take you seriously when your own website name is like .tv or something like that? It's not gonna work out well for you in the long run. So you gotta change up your name, like either add letters to it or create a made up word or add a the or official or something to it to make it look presentable while still maintaining the .com. And then you're gonna to wanna to lock in your social media accounts. So once you come up with your company name for, with the .com, you want to go in to lock in your custom URL for Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat, etc., Pinterest. And then the third step will be you gotta get educated. Step four would be you gotta practice. Step five is client sales, which is probably the hardest part about this business. Step six is you're creating your business marketing strategy for creating attractive marketing to attract clients to you. Step seven is creating your staff or your outsourcing team or your in-house team. And step eight is getting your accounting and legal procedures in order. So step one we talked about already, you gotta get your branded website. Try to think of something professional that's short and easy to spell. So make sure the way you pronounce it is the same way that you say it. I'm sorry, make sure the way you say it is the same way you spell it. So we are overly.com. Short, we have all the branded custom URLs for it and it's pronounced the same way that it's spelled. And if you really want to protect your brand, you get the .net, .org, and possibly the .co as well so that other people don't try to steal your name under a different URL. So now you want to lock in your social media accounts as step two. So that's going to be like IG, YouTube, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat. So every one of those social media platforms has their own instructions about how to get a custom URL for that platform. So just, for example, if you want a custom URL for YouTube, then just type into Google custom URL YouTube and YouTube will have their instructions and their minimum requirements in order to lock in your custom URL. Because it's all about protecting your brand. What you don't want is to create your company name and somebody else buying your name .net or your name or youtube.com slash your company name or twitter.com slash your company name and then selling it back to you. It's a headache when you can just take like an hour out of your day and just lock in and protect your brand right there. The next step is you have to get educated. So this is what all the other competing digital marketing agencies are missing. Everybody has a huge ego and they think they're the best at everything. But just because they think they're the best, it doesn't mean that they're definitively the best. Because I've taken the time to get the education. I've had formal schooling. I've had formal certification from 
places like Warren Online for digital marketing. I've gone to conferences in affiliate marketing, social media marketing, multiple conferences in SEO. I've gone there live. I've seen it online streaming. I go through all the viral marketing forums. I have a lot of friends in this space and we always compare notes. So there's a lot of places to collect information. And I've been doing this since 2011. So I have years of experience. And I have years of experience doing it for clients with tens of thousands of dollars in budget. So I've spent tens of thousands of dollars of different corporations' monies, money into different types of advertising. So I already know firsthand what works and what doesn't in multiple avenues. So how do you get that education? You can do it my way, or if you want, when we get new people and I, I have to train new staff, there's no way I'm going to be able to spend the time with them to train each one of them on all, all pieces of those information, social media, SEO, paid, paid advertising, copywriting, uh, WordPress web design, growth hacking, creating a sales funnel. It's impossible. I don't have 18 hours to spend with each new hire. So that's what O'Reilly.com is. It's a library of our techniques distilled into actionable steps only. So our entire lecture for each social media platform, for example, is, is less than an hour long because we just show the people that we're training the steps that they need to do, the actionable steps that people need to do to make our clients money. So that's what we've done for you as well. You can join at orally.com for $1 and you will see the same training videos that we give our staff that work for our internet marketing agency to be able to make clients money. These are all just steps in each social media platform that need to be done to start making money. So whether it's for you or for your client, that is the most distilled up-to-date way to learn internet marketing, in our opinion. And we've seen it all. I spent $2,000, $2,200 for similar courses and similar offers that had maybe three actionable steps total in their entire website. Our website has 100% actionable steps in each video. If you want to learn like how to like register your account and some basic functionality, then maybe we're not the most thorough website for that because that is like real beginner stuff. We just want to get people to making money as fast as possible. If you're like interested in like what are all the menu options and buttons do on each social media platform and how to like register your account and things like that, if you have difficulty with that, if you're a true beginner to the internet, then a good place to start would be Linda. And if you go to orally.com slash resources, or you just go to oily.com, scroll to the footer, and you'll see a link that says resources. Just click on that, and you'll see a link to a free trial to Linda. And they have like real basic videos about how to use everything, like how to use WordPress, how to use and register your account at, at uh, Facebook or Instagram if you haven't done that before. So this is the fastest way to get a complete education so in, for $1, you can start getting clients and marketing for them for your first month. And then if you want to keep going or you have more people that you want to train, it, it's just $37 for every month after that. Cancel anytime. Or if you cancel before the 30-day trial is up, then you only paid $1 and you have to learn everything that we know. And then we always keep it up to date month to month. We see what's new, like growth marketing. We just made a video about that because internet marketing is constantly changing. If you don't keep up, you get left behind. If you don't keep up, some other competitor can take your client from you. Or if you don't keep up, then you're gonna eventually stop being able to make your clients money effectively. And education is also the easiest way to steal other people's clients. So when you meet corporations that have a lot of money and the owners are very business savvy, they are probably already doing internet marketing, like a combination of social media and SEO, and maybe some paid advertising as well. So what typically they're missing is lines up with what most digital marketing agencies are also missing. One of the biggest things that they're missing is copywriting. 
without copywriting, there's no conversion. There's no money. And they're hiring three different agencies, one to run their paid ads, one to do their social media, and one to do their SEO. So each one is paying them like a full-time agency price as a charge. When you can come in and you can just give them a complete solution that everything works together instead of three separately moving pieces, and you can charge them a lower price as a package. Because it all it all has to fit together. The SEO strategy with blogging has has to be syndicated to all social media platforms and boosted with paid ads. So you can see how if all three of those things are being done by different people, it doesn't it doesn't work together. It's not synergistic. The things don't match up and you're not getting your full dollars worth for your, from your marketing budget. And plus those people don't even understand the other pieces. So the social media person doesn't understand SEO. The paid ads person doesn't really understand SEO or social media. So it's all disjointed. But they all claim to be experts when they're all really not. So when you come in, you just explain what each person is missing. And even the part that they're experts that they're doing wrong. Like you'll get people that are hiring SEO companies and you just right click their homepage and you can look at their meta title, meta description, and there aren't any keywords in it. There's no copywriting done. So they really didn't even start the SEO. So that's why it's other people's lack of education that run their agencies. It makes it cakewalk for you to take their clients with just like a 20 minute consultation. Just look at what those other agencies are doing for that client and you'll be able to point out dozens of mistakes and things that they're missing that you can offer that client instead for cheaper and faster. The next step is about practice. And so the more experience you get, the better you'll be. That's just the truth of it. Like you can read as many books as you want but until you actually start doing it. You'll see like what parts you don't understand, what parts you need more help with, and what strategies actually produce results the fastest. And that is constantly changing as well. So you can start by doing it for yourself first. So you make your company website, you do your blogging, you do your social media strategy, you do your SEO optimization, you start creating some backlinks for yourself, you start running some paid ads for yourself. And then you can start practicing for your warm market. So these are your friends, your family, coworkers, clientele, people you buy from. You can start doing their social media, SEO, and paid ads as well. Either do it for free, do it for low cost, or they can refer people to you in exchange, or they can make you a, like a testimonial for you helping them out. Or if you get a client, then that's fine too, like a paying client. You can like meet people to get clients like at business networking or conferences that you go to. And when you go to these conferences, like these internet marketing conferences, you can talk to the sponsors, talk to the booths because they all have tools that help you in like internet marketing, SEO and paid ads. So you can see what kind of tools are available to you. And you want to be testing these tools to see how they work, whether it's worth the price. And a lot of these tools have free trials anyway, so you can learn how to use them. And get ready, get ready for that $2,000 client. Get ready for that $5,000 a month client, so that when you get to a corporation, you're able to keep that them on, on board as a client because you're making them money, that you're ready for that client. So let's talk about sales. Sales is probably the hardest part to creating a successful internet marketing agency. So you get your, your, your warm leads, that's your warm market, you've gone through that, you start, and then you have to go into the cold market. So the cold market is, the strategy is the same as you do it for your clients, a combination of SEO, social media, paid ads, and traditional marketing. So we go through all that at Aurelia.com. When you go through those videos, it'll teach you how to get leads for yourself and for your client as well. So when you get these leads coming in, you have to follow up. So either that's through your sales funnel, your automated emails, your text messaging programs, or you just call them or you meet with them in person and you follow up with these prospects. You figure out their needs, what their wants. You figure out what part of their business makes them the most money. You figure out their unique selling proposition, whether their business plan is actually even possible to become successful and what their budget is. And then 
you, you see what their competitors in their niche are doing and their business model and what they charge and what their business plan is and you compare to what your current prospect is doing and then you can give them advice starting with that and then you can see the internet marketing strategy that that number one competitor is doing their SEO strategy their S their social media strategy their paid ads there's there's different tools and ways to spy into a company's internet marketing strategy and you can show them what their competitor is doing so then that they know what they're missing validated because their competitor is doing it and then you can see what their current internet marketing looks like for your prospect what is their SEO social media and paid ads look like if especially if they already have an agency on board you can tell them and explain to them what their agency has done for them so far and what you can do better what you can do differently we can do faster and what you can do cheaper than whoever they're hiring it's not just it's not just about cheap it's about value for the dollar so if they're spending ten dollars with this one company and getting eleven dollars in return on their investment then maybe you can charge twenty dollars but get forty dollars return on their investment so it's not just about price it's about return on an investment and savvy business people understand that so now let's get into your long-term business marketing strategy and that just goes back to what we teach in orla.com you got to do a combination of search engine optimization social media paid ads and traditional marketing and traditional marketing that goes into like trade shows, TV, radio, print, PR, press releases. And a lot of, a large part of sales in your long-term strategy will be from referrals. And so when you do a good job for people, they're going to refer other people to you. And then there's growth hacking, which we talk about in orally and experiential marketing, which is what we're doing right now, live video, live events. So now it's time to put together your staff. So if you don't have that many clients and you can do it yourself and maybe when you get a couple clients you can start to outsource and so we'll talk a little bit about that for certain things sometimes it's better to have a United States staff like if you want a sales team then maybe you want people that are uh, within your country so the accent matches up and they are able to effectively sell and if you want to hire writers that create valuable content that has the right grammar and spelling and sometimes it's better to hire in-house as well so you can have some quality control and have consistent output of your writing staff but almost everything you can outsource if you do it the right way so outsourcing websites include things like upwork fiverr iWriter. So iWriter is for like articles fiverr is really good especially for like logos and things like that sort or animations Upwork can be pretty much anything you can think of. There's a lot of management skills involved with outsourcing because the same low quality you get from hiring digital marketing agencies is the same sort of low quality you get when you outsource also. A lot of people don't really know how to do it, but they'll say that they do just to get your money. And by the time you figure out they don't know what they're doing, they've already, they already have your money and they move on to the next, next sale. So. A good way to, to do outsourcing is to give them one task, one task at a set price, like the smallest step in any process. Like for example, if you want to hire people to become writers for blog articles, you just have each writer write one article for however much money. You set the price and then you can look at their article. Is the grammar right? Is the spelling correct? Does the article make sense? Does it offer people value? And once you review their articles, maybe out of 10 writers that you hired to write, write one article each, maybe only two of them write a decent article and the other eight are just terrible. Spelling is wrong, grammar is off, no value, doesn't make any sense. So you just rehire those two writers on your database. 
and then you hire another 10 writers to write one article each and you get another three writers that write good articles. So now on your database, you have five people you can outsource articles to on a daily basis very quickly that you can count on that have very fast turnaround times. And that's how you build your staffing for all your outsourcing needs. You can white label, so you can get money from clients. Like let's say you're just like, I'm not gonna learn SEO, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna focus my attention to paid ads and social media. So you can just find an, a company that does SEO and white label their services. So actually they're doing the SEO for your client, but, you're, but it looks like that SEO service is coming through your company. So you're labeling their services as your brand. You can have partnerships with other companies to help you do things that you lack. Or you can just refer to other people, things that you don't know. So the final step is you want to get your accounting and legal issues in order. So I'm not a lawyer or an accountant. So the information I'm about to give you is not meant to be legal or financial advice. You got to talk to your attorney or CPA about that, but I'll just give you overall categories that you need to go over with a professional before you expand your business or even start your business. The first is you want to have the right corporate entity. So you, you want to talk to like your CPA about whether it's better for you and your business to have an LLC or an S corp or a hybrid. You want to make sure you have all your liability disclaimers in order. So the disclaimers on your website, disclaimers on your client contracts, which you also should have your liability contracts and your, your, your client relationship contracts, clients contracts with your staffing as well. You want to make sure everything you do and all the ads that you put out and all the marketing that you're doing is FTC compliant. So there's lawyers that specialize in FTC compliance, or you can just go to the FTC website and you want to make sure you're paying your taxes properly and doing your payroll properly. And now you're ready to start your internet marketing business.